Hello, hello, Brenda Carmenita here. I am bringing to you tonight the take it all off at the end of the night um, for the nightly routine. So when you have a full face of makeup, it's really, really important to take off your makeup before you go to bed for so many different reasons. There's mites that live on your eyelashes. There's, you know, makeup that's going to get all over your bed clothes and your sheets um, and you're going to clog your pores and just grind in to this poor delicate skin on our face all of these uh, not only all the makeup but all of the day that's left in the makeup that's stuck to your face now at the end of the day so cleaning your face is really really important I'm always going to begin when I have a full face makeup with my eye makeup remover this is magic you guys it is oil free eye makeup remover which is safe for extensions if you have lash extensions I do not as you can see <laughs> I have just old natural regular eyelashes but this oil free eyelash remover is actually safe for lash extensions you want to shake it up it's a dual base system so once it is cloudy she's ready I'm going to put just a touch on a cotton round and I'm going to let my makeup remover do the work. So I'm simply going to hold this very gently on my eye and I'm going to allow that to break up the waterproof liquid eyeliner that I have on and the mascara, pull off the eyeshadow. I have eye primer. I have also, it will do my brows. I have my color in my brows and my tint in my brows. All of this will come off with my eye makeup remover. And even without doing anything, it's pulled off a bunch of the liquid eyeliner. And I'm going to go in a downward motion very gently. And then just make sure that I get all of that off that lower lash and it is all on my cotton round no longer on my eye. So I'm just gonna make sure. Really wanna take care with my lashes. This is gonna condition my lashes as it cleans. And I'm gonna take off that eyebrow, going with the hair. Fluffing and conditioning the hair and my eyebrow. And all of that is now on my cotton round instead of on my face. So I like to flip my cotton round over. I tend to be a frugal Frida, if you want to call it that. And I get the most out of all of my products that I can. So I'm going to do the same procedure. I use even less this time because I merely flipped it over. And so there was already some saturation from the other side. Although it was not saturated all the way through. It does not take a lot of product with Mary Kay to do the job. So I didn't even have to saturate this cotton round all the way through to do in my eye. So I'm gonna go in a downward motion on my lashes very gently. I'm just going with the hair as to not break, bend, torque, or otherwise disturb my lashes. My lashes are pretty, uh, pitiful to begin with. So I really have to be careful with them. I don't want to lose lashes. I don't want them falling out or breaking. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm going to make sure I get my lower lash line as well because I want to take care of all of those lashes up and bottom. Okay. And I'm always going to go back making sure that I get all of that makeup off. Very gently, not pulling, tugging, stripping, or struggling with my eyes. And that is it for my eye makeup. Now there's two different ways I can go forward. And I'm gonna show you tonight my favorite way. Um, if I'm on the go or I don't have a sink, then I'm gonna go to my micellar water to wash my face. If I'm out late at, a, at the beach or the lake or out somewhere and a lot of times on the way home, <laughs> I'll take my micellar water and clean my face with my makeup. 
Um, it just kind of gets the job half done already by the time you get home. And I like the way it makes me feel more relaxed. And then I can just touch my face and I don't have to worry about it. When I'm at home or when I'm in the shower, I like to use as my pre-cleanse my botanicals, uh, botanical effects. I, I know how to read, I swear. Cleansing gel. This has dragon fruit extract. It is so fabulous. It smells so great. It feels so wonderful. And it's a great way to pre-cleanse my skin and get all the makeup and the day off of my skin. And prepped and ready for my age fighting cleanser because I am of an age that I need to fight it. So I'm gonna wash my face with this. I'm gonna add a little bit of water, put some on my hands in a gentle circular motion. Taking off that makeup, I'm gonna go down into my sink. Oops, get a little bit more because I'm making a big mess. <laughs> okay, there we go. I did not put enough the first time. Okay. And when I get in the sink, I'm gonna do my lips as well. So, I'm going to rinse this off. Wash those lips. Rinse off all of my cleansing gel. So, this Botanical Effects Cleansing Gel is not an age-fighting cleanser, but it is a skincare cleanser. So it does have dragon fruit extract to help moisturize and condition your skin. Okay. I'm gonna pat my skin dry. Okay, and now I'm going to cleanse my face with my Repair Foaming Cleanser. You guys, this is fabulous. It's Volufirm foaming cleanser. I'm going to put just a dot on my Sonic, my Skin Vigorate Sonic System brush. Okay, I'm going to wet that. I'm going to wet my face a little bit. Okay. And I'm going to use my system. Pardon me, I had to find my towel. And I'm going to spend about 15 seconds on each quadrant of my face, stimulate microcirculation while I cleanse and begin my age fighting. My cleanser has age fighting peptides and plant stem cells to help my skin regenerate, hydrate, and recover from the day. Okay, after 60 seconds, my brush turns itself off so that I don't have to manage a time clock while I'm doing my skincare. It allows me a little bit of more freedom to relax as well while I'm doing my skincare. I'm gonna rinse my face off. Using lukewarm water, body temperature. I don't wanna use hot water and strip the natural oils from my face or cold water and shock my skin. Making sure to get everything off of my neck. Okay. Oh, that feels very, very, very good. Oh. Something about taking your makeup off at the end of the night, it's kind of the same as taking off your bra when you get home. There's just that, <laughs> that moment where you just go, oh, that's what I needed. That was what I needed. Although... I love my makeup. It's fun. It feels great. I don't have any problems with my makeup feeling heavy or cakey, but it does feel good to be fresh and clean.
and I have a hair on me. Okay. Okay. Now my face, I want to give my face a moment after I cleanse to relax. Okay. So our skin is the largest organ on our body. So that means that it's, it's a, I was going to say a business, not a business, but it has duties, right? It has jobs that it has to take care of. So it's a working piece of our body, like our heart, our lungs, our stomach, our digestive system, our skin is an organ. So it's doing something for us and it requires something from us. So we must take care of our skin and we need to give our skin the nutrients that it requires to be its best, not just on our face, our whole body, right? When your skin is healthy, then you are healthier as your skin is a huge part of your overall systems. So I'm going to give my, uh, my skin a moment after I have cleansed to just kind of relax and recuperate. I don't need a long time. What I like to do while I wait before I move on with my serum is my eye cream. So eye cream for me is super, super, super important because I'm Italian and with that comes, at least with my line and my jeans, comes bags and dark circles under your eyes. This amazing... Uh, Tamac applicator on my renewing eye cream immediately reduces puffiness with a nice coolness and makes it so amazing for application. You just don't want to quit, I swear. You just want to keep going and going and going because it feels so fantastic to get a nice light, light massage. You're not pulling and tugging the skin around your eyes. But it feels so amazing and so relaxing. Now, with the eye cream, this is going to serve us the, the skin around our eyes. The skin around our eyes is 20% thinner than the rest of the skin on our face. So this skin here and this skin here. We do want this application to extend all the way to the edges of our skin on our eyelids but we do not actually put the product all the way to the edges. Your skin is porous, so it's going to move that liquid. The liquid is automatically going to go to a dry area. So as I put the, the my eye cream here, my skin is going to draw it up so I don't have to try to apply all the way to the edge and end up with eye cream in my eye. So remember, allow some space <clears throat> excuse me between the application of your eye cream and the very edges of your eyes so that you don't end up regretting it later and crying with the eye cream in your eye <laughs> been there let me just tell you so now my skin has had plenty of time to relax and recoup after i've cleansed so i'm going to go ahead and start with my serums i do a pore minimizer i do this twice a day every day morning and night because I have large pores with oily, acne-prone skin. So my pore management is something in my customized routine that I really have to put some emphasis on. I use one pump of my pore minimizer. I put that on my ring fingers. I'm gonna tap this around my face, starting in the center, moving outward, as these are my largest pore problem areas. I'm going to gently smooth that over my skin. Okay, that is so amazing. It feels fantastic. As my lifting serum, so I do two serums twice a day, every day. I have my pore minimizer and I have my lifting serum because I am fighting an ongoing battle with grape skin right here. So <laughs> this area is another area that I really need to pay a lot of attention to personally. So my customized skincare has my lifting serum application twice a day, once in the morning and once in the evening. So I'm going to tap this around and I'm going to go in an upward motion, just gently sliding this across my skin. I'm going to just go up the jowls. This is going to tighten, tone my skin here in this area where we tend to prone to sag and droop. So 
I have my pore minimizer serum, I have my lifting serum, I have my eye cream, and I'm gonna finish up my evening with my night cream. So we always want to moisturize. We should moisturize two times a day. With Mary Kay Moisturizer, each moisturizer has 12 hours of moisturization, the day cream and the night cream. So it has you covered 24 seven. So I'm gonna use my night cream, which also includes retinol. Can we say woohoo retinol? Yes, we can. And this is encapsulated retinol, okay? What that means is there is no retinization process that your skin has to go through in order to happily accept retinol. So retinol tends to cause dryness and, um, I can't think of the word, I'm sorry, um, tenderness to the skin um, upon the initial applications. It's, it's a derivative of vitamin A and it just has that reaction for most people. It's not an allergic reaction, it's not a major reaction, there are those as well. But a general reaction is dryness and um, some redness and tenderness in certain areas with clinical grade retinol. Now the exciting part with the encapsulated retinol is that doesn't happen. The retinol is encapsulated in a slow release process. So over the 12 hours, you are receiving the, a slow release of retinol that doesn't give that, that big reaction from your skin. So even those that are um, have a reaction to clinical grade retinol are able to use the encapsulated retinol in, very, in a lot of situations in a lot of instances. Okay, I can't talk, I swear, I'm better than this. Okay, <laughs> we're just gonna keep it rolling and keep it moving, y'all. So we have our night cream and this amazing canister that Mary Kay has designed. So your night cream is protected from both the environment, light, and you. When we have a night cream, we take the lid off, we stick our fingers in it, and we put it on our face. Well. There's all kinds of stuff on your hands. Even if you've just washed your hands, you are on your hands and you are putting you in your moisturizing container. So it's contaminated. So we really don't want to do that as much as we as much as possible. So they've devised these paddles and then you use the paddle and then you put it on your face or you put it on your hand. If you put the same paddle back in, you've just defeated the purpose. So you'd have to get a new paddle every time and clean your paddle. Forget it. I don't have that much time in my life, nor any desire to spend that much of my life doing that. Mary Kay has solved the problem for me. So I just squeeze the top and the right amount is dispensed right here on the lid. So I put it on my finger and I'm ready to go. I know my product is very fresh, protected, 100% of efficacy. especially retinol. Retinol is not to be exposed to sunlight on your skin or in the bottle. So I put my moisturizer on, I do my neck, I do my face, and I am done for the evening. And I am fresh faced, ready and relaxed and feeling great and ready to go to bed. Thanks for watching with me. I hope you have a great night. If you have any questions about any of my routine, let me know. Um, comment away or get a hold of me and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.